What's your plan when you finally get the notice that you can go back to work? Well, what are you going to do? Do you have a plan? Well, hopefully you do. Now, one of the things that you got to think about is, what about your PPE? Your personal protective equipment? You know, there's one thing that I found through this whole ordeal with the coronavirus is that it was interesting to find out just how many cleaning companies were not wearing proper PPE. So, when I'm talking about proper PPE, I'm talking safety glasses. So, you know, whenever you're working with chemicals, you are either to be wearing safety glasses or Should it be goggles? Now if you've had the proper training, you realize that these are the proper eyewear whenever you're working with chemicals or you got it in a spray bottle. Your sides are protected. There's no way that that spray can even get into your eyes. But what I often hear and uh, have seen is that many cleaners don't even wear eye protection while they're cleaning. Which is really interesting, you know, I think, wow, why, why aren't you doing that? You know, even though if you go to a safety glasses, well, make sure that they have some side protection here. You know, because there's other safety glasses that don't have this side protection, and that's just a, a way for uh, a spray or an object to get into your eye. So, you know, that'd be the, the first thing that you want to think about. we got to have eye, proper eye protection. Now something else that you may want to think about, especially you residential cleaners, are you going to continue to wear booties when you walk into the house? Okay. Well, maybe maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. That's that's entirely up to you. We always do. We whenever we go into a house and clean, we always put on our booties. The other thing that you got to think about is gloves. Now you got your choice between a disposal glove, such as this latex glove, or if we're concerned about supplies running low, maybe we're going to go with a, a glove like this here that can be cleaned and reused. So those are some of the choices that you're going to have to make once you get the green light to go back in the business. You know, we have to have these things. These are all personal protective equipment. We've got to have them. So no matter what, we're going to have one or the other. Either we're going to use a disposable glove or we're going to use a reusable glove that we can clean and uh, make, sh make sure that it's ready to go for every, uh, for every job that we have. The other thing that we got to think about is we have to have a mask. Now we may find out that that's exactly what's going to change as far as our PPE when we're out cleaning is that we may be required to still wear a mask. So there you have it. This might be the only attire that may change, you know, because we should already be wearing gloves, safety glasses, that that shouldn't have never that should have never even been an issue, but this here the face mask is probably going to be the one thing that will change for a while anyway, until they find a, a cure for this uh, so we can uh, so we all can get a shot and, and uh, you know be uh, uh, not worried about getting in, uh, infected. But anyway. Uh, these are just some things that you got to think about. You know, your PPE is very, very important, and you've got to have a plan for when you go back, back to work after after the uh, post coronavirus. Very important. So, you know, now's the time is to talk to your suppliers, decide on what kind of gloves you're going to wear, get you some more face masks. Now, you know, there's you got a variety of different face masks that you can purchase. You know, there's just not the N95s. Uh, there, there's many others too, and in fact, you can get some that are uh, reusable. Uh, so consider that, because if you if if uh, supplies are going to get low again, 
Well, make sure you set yourself up with stuff that can be reused, um, because then at least at least you got uh, you got the supplies that you need, and you'll just be able to clean it and reuse it. So think about that. In fact, I've got some masks on order that are reusable, and um, I can't wait to get them. I think I'll probably get them in another week here. I believe that's when I'm going to get them. But uh, I'm looking forward to that because now I'll have a reusable mask. I won't I won't have I won't have the N95 here that is a disposable mask, so I can use it once and throw it away. Um, uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to save me some money, and then also I don't have to worry about restocking N95s. So, but anyway, you know, I just wanted to do this uh, video so it give you something to think about. We have to have a plan. We have to think about our PPE, and we got to think about how we're going to restart our businesses. So it's now now's the time to really think about that. And, uh, you know, and if, if you're just sitting around dwelling and, and, and uh, having that negative attitude, get out of that because that gets you nowhere. Now's the time to be proactive and take action. So work on some systems. If you, I'm sure there's some systems that you don't have in your business that you definitely need. Work on them. Work on your marketing. You know, right now you can be marketing to your to, uh, uh, prospects. You know, for your residential cleaner, you can be doing uh, move-in, move-out cleans. You know, um, that's, a, that's a good thing. Uh, you can start offering disinfectant cleaning. So you go in and you do a routine clean, then you disinfect the surfaces, touch surfaces. That's a service you can offer. And, uh, or if for residential, you can actually think about getting into commercial. So we'll start off with some small commercial spaces. If you don't know how to do all that, go to the janitorialstore.com. Become a member. We have all the information that you need to, to build a successful commercial cleaning business. So, along with lots of other things. But uh, anyway, uh, have that plan now before before you know uh, before they tell us that we can go back to work and now we're gonna sh we're gonna scramble to get a plan in place and we don't know what the hell we're doing. So now's the time to do that uh, while you got time to, to do it. Uh, just that simple. And uh, like I've always said all along, ever since this thing whole, whole thing started, you know, you have to be proactive. You got to be proactive. Don't be reactive. Um, the, the reactive companies uh, are going to struggle. Uh, they're the ones that are, uh, you know, losing work and, and because they didn't because they weren't proactive in the beginning, contacting their clients, you know, communicating with their clients, had a plan in place as to how they were going to do things as they started losing clients. Um, but anyway, that's very, very important. You know, I, I can't stress that enough. You know, stop being reactive, be proactive, take action, you know, be ahead of the game, have your plan ready. So if you can do that, you'll be, you'll be far better off. So just remember that. So I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. So thanks for checking in today and we'll see you next time.